we're asked to use the graph of f of x to sketch a graph of f prime of x. The derivative function values are equal to the slopes of the tangent lines to f of x at given values of x. So what we'll do is sketch several tangent lines to the graph of f of x and then estimate the slopes of the tangent lines which will give us estimates for the derivative function values. We will record the information below in the table. Each column in the table will give us one point on the graph of f prime of x. Let's begin by determining the points on the graph of f of x where the tangent line would be horizontal. For example, here at the relative minimum as well as here at the relative maximum. Let's go ahead and sketch the horizontal tangent lines. We know horizontal lines have a slope of zero. So let's estimate the x value to be approximately 0 0.3 where we have a horizontal tangent line. On the right, let's say x is approximately 3.7. Let's record this in the table. When x is equal to 0 0.3, the slope of the tangent line of the derivative function value is zero. And when x is equal to 3.7, the slope of the tangent line and the derivative function value is zero. And now let's sketch a few more tangent lines. Let's sketch a tangent line at x equals negative one, which is approximately here. And now let's estimate the slope of this tangent line. Let's try to go down far enough so that we can go over exactly one unit. So notice how if we go down just over six units, let's call it down 6.2 units, so negative 6.2 for the vertical change, and then right one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line is negative 6.2 at x equals negative one. So when x is equal to negative one, the slope of the tangent line, as well as the derivative function value is approximately negative 6.2. And now sketch the tangent line at x equals two. It should be this point here. And now let's find the slope from the point of tangency. If we go up four units and right approximately one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line is four at x equals two. So when x is equal to two, we know the derivative function value is positive four. Let's go ahead and sketch one more tangent line. Let's say at x equals 4.5, which would be this point here. Again, we want to go down far enough so we can go over exactly one unit to find a second point on the tangent line. So if we go down, it looks like five units, and right one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The vertical change is negative five, horizontal change is positive one, the slope of the tangent line is negative five at x equals 4.5. So at x equals 4.5, we know the derivative function value is approximately negative five. And now we'll go ahead and plot these five points and see if we can sketch the derivative function on the second coordinate plane. To begin, we have the point 0 0.3 comma zero, which is approximately here. And then we have 3.7 comma zero, which is approximately here. Next, we have negative one comma negative 6.2, which is here. And we have two comma four, which is here. And finally, we have 4.5 comma negative five, which is here. We know the graph of the derivative function must pass through these five points and look something like this. So on the left, we have a cubic function, which is the graph of f of x. On the right, we have the graph of f prime of x, which we should recognize as a graph of a parabola or a quadratic function. Before we go, notice how where the original function f of x is decreasing over this interval and this interval. The derivative function values are negative. And where the original function is increasing over this interval, the derivative function values are positive. Also notice at x equals 0 0.3, where the derivative function changes from negative to positive, the original function f of x has a relative minimum. And at x equals 3.7, where the derivative function changes from positive to negative, the original function has a relative maximum. 
I hope you found this helpful.